Masquerading as either. It is I, Mr. Tex, and I am taking over the Monday stream as Depp is out for personal reasons. And my job is going to be to remind you all that I should certainly not be in charge of anything. And I do mean anything to do with naval planning. So what we're going to do today... <laughs> is we're going to play this game called Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where you can build very, you know, sophisticated takes on things, and, uh, boat stuff. Boat things. <laughs> Hi, Molly, and thank you for gifting us some subs. I appreciate that. Hello, Beeple people. Uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna build some really, really bad boat stuff. Now, you may ask why there is no background music for the game itself. That's because the developer of this game decided that the background music needed to be licensed, and thus, not having the right to procure the license ourselves mean we're going to just have to hum in our head. So, everyone, please choose a happy song you like. Uh, please not the song that never ends, because I don't have the energy for that. I do not. 
What we're going to do instead is we're going to do a naval campaign and we're going to see how far we can take it. So we're going to do a new campaign and we're going to play as Italians. <laughs> uh, no, AI opponent random. Uh, no, we're going to create our own fleet. And uh, no, they're not allowed to share designs I've made because fuck those guys. So we're going to start in 1890 for a little bit of, you know, a little bit of that stuff. We're going to play as the Italians. Yeah, start a new campaign. I have broken this game many times, building a lot of things that, uh, you know, shouldn't be. <laughs> Molly, I did try your idea, by the way. Panzer Schiff Navy is really fun until you have to pay for it. Because <laughs> you're like, hey, it's not as expensive as a battleship, but I have fucking 40 of them. And then you're like, oh, no, money. Money expensive. Money, money not good. So everyone get ready for, uh, you know, your favorite Italian. And uh, yeah, Panzer Schiff is a really fun doctrine uh, where you're like, it's not a battleship TM. Uh, legally distinct and similar to, but different in every way from a battleship and all the ways that count except for some of the ones which don't ship is just one of those things that's fun on paper, but not fun in reality. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I complain about money. Plays Italian. Uh, spaghetti. Transport. Don't worry. We're gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna just make some boats that are different. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just really play it by ear and see what trouble I can get into internationally with other countries. I am going to do my very best. I'm going to do my very, very best to be semi-belligerent in the Mediterranean, which is the Italian Atlantic. It is their backyard. And naturally, you need to be difficult to people. Um, it's one of those things you learn when playing as the minor nations in this game. Their starts are really hard, but they're fun. I played as American in this game where I refused to build anything over 2,000 tons of displaced tonnage, which was hilarious because my whole doctrine was, well, how about you catch me outside? How about you come over here and say that? Come over to my hemisphere and say something because everything I had was just robots. <laughs> It was sad. Um, it, it was the equivalent of getting, like, threatening letters from your dog. Uh, it's, it's just one of those things where you're like, huh. <laughs> it's, my power projection was zero. My power projection was writing sternly written letters on post-it notes and hoping it found its way to them. Yeah, I, I am going to make a really shit navy, and its special ingredient is going to be Malay. It's it's going to be malaise. It's going to be a navy of what once was. I'm going to be making a lot of poor naval decisions. But then again, the 1890s was an era of hotels at war and to many other fun naval doctrines being played out concurrently um, where no one had any idea what in the cinnamon toast fuck they were doing. So we're going to we're going to be doing that. We're going to also do our best to upset the power of balance uh, as much as possible to make the weirdest wars we can. So I'm going to be very Italian. I am, I'm going to look at the belligerents uh, available to me, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to choose the underdog, or I might just choose the winning side, and then I might change sides. I don't know. That's the fun about playing the Italians in any war. You're just like, what side are you on? What, right now? Right now is a variable. Right now is TBD. <laughs> right now is maybe, baby. Yeah. Yay. Italian. You know, here's, here's a fun Italian fact. You guys ready for an Italian fact? Are you guys ready for some Italian facts? They're pretty good. Um, not great. Not terrible. But pretty good. Did you know that uh, Chef Boyardee, that was his real fucking name, uh, but Americans couldn't pronounce it, so they had to write it out phonetically. That's why it's written that way. His real name is Boyardee. 
like B O Y A R D I, and no one could pronounce it. So they had to write it out phonetically, and that's how you end up with it. But the original guy was apparently Italian, and he was like, I got tired of having to explain to people how my fucking name went. So, you know, uh, that's, that's kind of a sad truth. Um, I don't know any other Italian facts. I will probably make up the rest of them. I, I will be like, Italy is 60% compost by volume. And you're just going to have to go, that's probably not true, Tex. But no one's going to look it up. So, welcome to the wide world of Italian facts and stuff. And, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I am drinking water to make the throat behave tonight. Uh, <laughs> that's always fun. Water. Fish fucking it. So, apparently the game is having a think about December 1886. Apparently whatever happened then was very serious. And or it stuck. We'll see. This is a game that is in permanent development. So, I, I think we'll see what happens when it happens, as it happens. But yeah, the wide world of Italian facts. The world of Italy facts. The world of Italies Italy's Italia there's there's it's it's gonna it's gonna have a big think about this part of the game and we'll see what happens all right so as it continues to try to think about what happened in December of 1886 we're gonna sit there and just see how chat's doing we're gonna sit here and say hi to everybody hi everybody we're sitting around having a moment. I hope everyone's week has started as good as it can. I hit that whole start of the week, hit the ground running thing. Which, you know, that's just one of those things you do. You should probably do that every every morning. Hit the morning running. Because the, the, the day will catch up very quickly. A lot of people seem to think that if you sit around, good things will come your way. And occasionally occasionally that does happen occasionally now and then things do come your way and that's fine and dandy for people who can sail that ocean um i'm more one of those people that has to go chase things down a harpoon club and then bomb lance it and uh so i hit the ground i hit the ground running and don't call me uncle i'm only going to be 39 next month and before anyone has any ideas about doing something for my birthday, I don't, so I wouldn't on my behalf either. Don't worry about it. I typically work on my birthday. That's typically what I do. But last year, the Ox got Clownvis to sing Happy Birthday, which was really cool, unexpected, and quite nice. But no, I could probably use a vacation, but I think that's most of us. All right, let me switch to another screen and see if this helps this son of a bitch load any faster. Come on. Come on. You can do it, game. I believe in you. I believe in you. Sooner or later, we will be playing a game tonight. I'm not even sure. <laughs> I'm not even sure if that's true, but we'll see. Well, it's thinking about it. It's, it's really thinking about it. It's thinking that one of these days in 1886, something happened that was so bad, it cannot hand it over to me. It's thinking that, well, are you saying the first loading can take up to 30 minutes? This ain't the first loading. This is quite literally the hundred thousandth time I've played this game. Oh, look, it's Mr. Train. Hello, Mr. Train. Yeah, it's regretting all of its life decisions. It's going It's doing that. It's doing that over and over again very quickly. That's how it builds Italian naval doctrine, right? Oh man. But it's one of those things where in some of these sim games, they have a lot of reticulating of splines that happen on the back end. And then as the game goes on, they go, it seems like I can't play the game anymore. <laughs> seems like it's a series of loading screens. I'm looking at you, Paradox. I'm looking at you, Clausewitz Engine. It's one of those things where you're like, man, I'd sure like to play some Hearts of Iron. Four hours later, it has managed to load the starting screen. 
you're going, why is there 800 gigs of code in this? And they're like, well, there's a DLC where you can play as Switzerland. And I'm like, ah, yes. One of the greatest industrial powers of the world. Surely we needed that. But you know how it is. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just going to sit here and sip my water while it tries to figure out what happened in 1886. It still seems to think about it. It's thinking one of these days in 1886 something happened. Now I can quint to the main menu, which if I give it another minute or two and it doesn't behave, that's certainly what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, it's this is definitely going to be a game where I play Pagliacci, to say the least. Or Pagliacci, if you pronounce things with a hard C. Which I don't recommend doing, because if you go around to explaining things as Kaiser salad or Little Kaiser's pizza. <laughs> oh, are you going to get some looks? You're going to be in trouble. Yeah. 1886 was indeed a year, a very data intensive year. Everyone said buy and sell at the same time. It's one of those things. So it is still saying December 1886 and it's thinking. It has to think about 1886. And, uh, yeah. 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 It's, uh, yeah. Has to, has to sort through all the Doctor Strange timelines. Has to sort through all of them at once. It's like, which is the one where the game loads? And they're like, 1,847,000 timelines. And you're like, ah, I don't need to play all of those. Yeah, the game really does have a thing about 1886. Apparently something very big happened there. But don't worry. If this doesn't behave in a minute or two, I'll just design ships one off at a time and we'll have fun that way and not play the campaign. So it's quite fine. It's, it's quite fine. We'll get it done. All right. Let's all, let's all concentrate. Let's all concentrate. Let's all concentrate and pour all of our thoughtful thoughts into making this game behave in the next minute or two. Let's, let's find and hope and pray that the game does indeed allow me to play in the next minute or two. I really wanted this game to load because Mondays are Mondays and, you know, Mondays are very difficult. What's that, another train? My God, could it be? Is it Mary Trainmas? Ah, yes. Ah, yes, what was that train? Right through the backyard. Ah, of course. Thank you, train. All right, so this thing seems a little fucked right now. I'm going to try to exit the main menu and restart this son of a bitch because it is being a difficult bastard. I'm going to see if I can't get the campaign to work again by trying it a different way. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to try Italian again, see if it'll work. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, no, create own, and let's see if she works. Please work, game. Mr. Train is one of those things that's in the background that just does what it does. Um, Mr. Train is just there. Mr. Train is a eldritch entity, and it arrives when it means to. It toots with authority, and it is largely designed to make noise. I'm not sure if it also carries freight places, really. I just think it's doing the best it can as a train. It's very, indeed, a hamster. It is very authoritative. <laughs> as, as it goes through, it has to remind people that once upon a time, train tracks were not next to houses, and as time went on, and as certain market forces took place, it was revealed that certain houses should be built exactly near the train tracks, if not allow the train tracks to pass through them. And in that place, you will find that Mr. Train has certainly found his in my backyard, and I, I just have to accept that. Mr. Train is one of those things that is both permanent and ephemeral. Mr. Train is a loose orbit. Mr. Train is a shadow of all the decisions I have made and all the thoughts I am thinking. Mr. Train. 
But, you know, it's it's one of those things where I also think, wouldn't it be cool if Mr. Train had like a loop? Now, I know that I can't put a loop on Mr. Train. That's not that's not ethical. You shouldn't put a loop on Mr. Train. You shouldn't let Mr. Train do loops. You probably shouldn't let Mr. Train do that. I I know that that's probably a negative thing. That's that's probably a very negative thing to have Mr. Train do loop-de-loops or anything else that could cause Mr. Train harm. Um, but I think about it frequently. I, I think about, what if I put Mr. Train on a loop-de-loop? By the way, it's past 1886 while we're talking, so we're just going to sit here and say nothing while that happens. Do you remember the 1889 of September? No. All right, it's getting there. We're almost 1890. See, all we had to do was shoot the shit, kvetch a little bit, make things happen. It's what we do. All right, we're going to get there soon. Soon, TM. Soon. Soon. All right. It is November of 1889, December. Oh, my God, we made it. Okay, here we go. Ta-da. Finally. Okay, it's time to do some Italian shit. Um, let's see what we got here. Well, that looks like Italy. All right, politics of Italy. Probably complicated. I love how it cut off here at the edge. That's not me, that's the game. That's the game just going like, hey, nah. All right, let me adjust that. See if I can't get this in a wider window. Oh, of course, it defaulted to a uh, aspect ratio I no one uses. Thank you. Thank you, game. That's fantastic. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and save that campaign there. And then, yeah, it was like, hey, you know what? We need to do the uh, aspect window of uh, ancient crap. So, all right, we are Italy, and we are mostly okay liked by most people. Surprisingly, the Germans are very cool with us. <laughs> Why? Uh, what is my preferred logistical indicator of a healthy country? Um, variety of hot sauces available to the common man. All right, finances. Uh, all right, we don't have much in terms of finances, so we're going to slide this all the way over and build up some transport capacity, and then I'm going to build up a dockyard capacity, and then I'm going to build a tech budget. Now, when it comes to research, this, and then, uh, yep, and then armor quality. And I'm going to knock that all down. And then we're going to design some crap boats. Yeah, we're not a threat to anyone. We're just a general nuisance. Ah, uh, man. Ah, oh, man, I don't get the coastal boats. God damn it. All right. So, choices, choices. Let's build a really shitty armored cruiser. Oh, no, no, no. We don't need that kind of speed. What do you think this is, Ferrari? No, no, no. That's crazy. Oh, wait, no. Let's not build a fancy tower on that. That sounds expensive. All right. What? Oh, that's the secondary tower. Well, we can run it in reverse. No one's going to know. No one's going to know. All right, there. Yeah, we got ourselves some crow's nests. Uh, yeah, finances, uh-uh. All right, let's see. Air intake? Yeah, like any air is going to come through that. That thing's just going to be a fireball. All right, centerline guns. We're going to go with sad. Sad gun. All right, there we go. Sad gun and sad gun. Check. Uh, casemates. Oh, two-inch casemates for I tried. We have Navy at home. I'm going to actually put some 4-inch guns on the wings and then some Torbados, because why not? All right, range seems good enough for the med. It's made out of iron and lies. Uh, this boat is not good. This is a terrible boat. So let's see if we can't get its speed up a little higher. 18, how? 19, why? Can it do 20? We can get it up to 20 knots. Let's see if we can get it up to 20. No way in hell can we get that. All right, 21 knots. 21 knots. And we're going to call this one... Uh, all right, I need a name. I need a name. I need a name. I need a name. Uh, hmm. I got it. It's the prostitute class. See, that's a lady who sleeps with someone for Italian dinner. You're learning. All right, let's build it. 
Let's build the prostitute. That's a Johnny Carson joke. If that gets flagged, I quit the internet. Come on. What is the secret ingredient of your Navy, Tex? Sheep. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to roll the map over. We got our fleet. And I'm going to take the whole fleet and I'm going to tell them to stay in port. You will do nothing. You will do jack and shit and jack left town. That's our boot. Oh, wow. We learned how to build an engine that was 4% lighter, probably because we left nuts and bolts out of it. Apparently, we have a trade deal with France, so cheese gets cheaper, but that doesn't fucking matter because the Italians make okay cheese. Some Italians gonna get mad, but here we go. Oh, a military conflict. Uh, Greece and stuff is fighting and things. Oh, no. That sounds like none of my business. All right, let's see. I know Italy fought Greece right before World War I, so don't, don't sit there and try to do the, well, actually, I'm aware. We're going to be breaking history. That is, that is exactly what I want to do. I'm also going to try to shave time off of stuff that works. And, uh, yeah, it's an Italian boat. It's the Pastitude. All right, nickel steel armor. Oh, wow. We did really good and, oh, man, uh, and stuff. Oh, man, Swaziland and Greece, uh, meh, none of my business. I don't care. File that under not my goddamn business. Go away. That's that's where I filed. Oh, submarine experiments. Well, no, I probably shouldn't. But we're going to try to get some of these other things like mines and such because that's passive in this game right now. It's in the background and it helps you actually do stuff. What? A military confrontation with the Chinese Empire becomes possible. What is your advice? I need to have what my naval director's advice would be, which is where the fuck is China on the map and how can my navy get there? We have nothing. We have nothing that can reach them. I would have to mail them up like my navy in parts. I would have to put my navy on boats and ship it over there and then have them build it in their backyard. There's no way my navy could get over there. I would have to ask another country to pull me there and then start fighting. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, not going to give them money. Uh, naval budget, uh, -huh. naval budget. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'll just, I'll, I'll yell at them. I'll be like, you guys, you think you invented noodles. We invented noodles. The great noodle war may happen. I don't know. That would be weird. Italy would surrender four times and change sides each time. Even if there wasn't another <laughs> enemy. We call this misdirection. All right. Uh, let's see. I got a little extra money, so I need to build more prostitutes. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's let's build uh let's build three more. There we go. All right, good enough. Excellent. Early contact mines. Oh wow. Romania signed a deal with Spain. Romania with their a uh, harbor that can support a boat. Man, they're really on the upswing. Way to go, guys. All right, big guns. There we go. And you know what? Let's look at our fleet. We got nine months to build the rest of the prostitutes. We're just going to keep going. Don't worry about it. Ah, Guinea-Bissau and Portuguese Guinea are fighting it out. Okay. None of my business. Military conflict. The people of Antilles take arms and try to gain control of the Dutch Antilles that is currently occupied by the Netherlands. You got it. Not my business. Oh, man, everyone's fighting and stuff. Too bad I'm interested in not that. All right, let's put money into explosives. Uh, underwater acoustics? Nah, I'll just use the stick method. Is that a boat? Click. Is that a boat? Click. All right, let's add three more prostitutes to my build order here. Mark 13, uh, yes, mm -hmm. oh, Mexico wants to buy ships. Yes, 
Now we are going to become the people who build boats for people. We're the boat people people. We're the beeple boat people. Excellent. Large industrialists proposed a redistribution of the government's budget in favor of the... Alright, uh, let's see. If I can... Yes, I will take a hit on the naval budget to boost the GDP, because that's an overall net gain over time. Oh, uh, yeah, man, Japan's budget is terrible and stuff, but I can... Yeah, alright, I'll do something to boost my GDP. And we learn gun cotton, so we can blow ourselves and the enemy up at the same time. All right, what could we boost? Looks like nothing right now, other than I'm gonna try to get hull strengthening and construction and armor forging a bit higher. It'd be easier if I had Krupp on my side, which I do not. The Beeple Boat Company. Look, Mexico wants to buy more cruisers. Fuck yes. Yes, indeed. Oh man, yeah, Denmark and France, best of pals. That's fine. You guys, you guys deserve each other. You guys, you guys with your, with your lies and boats and stuff. Ah, yes, yeah, structural steel, excellent. Oh man, we're getting provoked by the Germans. The Germans are starting shit a bit early. That's a little concerning, but you know, we'll we'll get what we have to do. Better shells, yes, and thank you. And here we go. We're just gonna keep building our little navy until it's not so little and then uh yeah we're gonna build the uh reg i like that the regine <laughs> the regia marina era uh you know and you know depp is not here today uh depp had something to do so we are going to make sure the show goes on but we'll continue next time around or at least we should unless something else terrible happens but we're just going to keep doing what we do. Not that anything terrible happened, but you never can predict life because you'll be sitting there having a normal day. You'll have your normal breakfast. You'll have your normal sleep, or in my case, you know, lack thereof. And as you're sitting there working through things, you'll be like, I am going to X by 5 p.m. And you make that plan in your head. You fully make that dedicated plan in your head to get things done. And then... Something happens. You'll be like, you know that thing I ate for lunch? Guess what? Explosive diarrhea. And you can't predict that. You just have to accept it or roll with the changes. I was going to say be like a leaf on the river of life, but that's certainly not the river of life. That's the river of pain. All right, let's see. What do we got? Oh, yeah. We got more boats. All right, we're going to take these other boats that we just built, and we're going to be like, and keep them there. Let them rust. They don't do anything but tie up the Navy. Someone's going to ask. Someone's going to ask. They're going to be like, where's your Navy? And I'm going to go, I don't know. Who's asking? They're going to be like, well, where's your Navy? And I'll be like, what Navy? <laughs> They're going to be like, you, you have a Navy. We know you do. And I'll be like, that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> nah, we've never had a Navy. We've never been boat people. What are you talking about? That's fucking weird. All right, let's see. Control stations boosted. Uh, we're going to boost. Uh, yeah, we need to boost certainly more displacement and cruisers. Torpedoes. We're going to get that up there. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. All right, we can build slightly bigger boats now. Not that I will. Uh, but I can if I need to. So we're gonna get back into armor forging. I'm gonna try to shorten that as much as possible when it comes down to technology. Oh man, Mexico is buying a navy from me. Two ships at a time. They saw my piece of shit and they were like, that's for me. And I am surprised, but I'm gonna let them buy it. So we're gonna now build a much bigger shipyard. Wow. Uh, I'm running this navy like a non-profit. Look at the monthly balance. Ooh, that's not good. That is really not good. At the end of the year, your naval budget shouldn't be positive $200,000 and change. This is how you know we're scraping the barrel here. And that's more than fine, uh, because we're not at war. <laughs> but I'm going to build a giant fleet that is just full of crap. All right, let's see. 
what do we got? 16 inch torpedo tubes. Nice. Everyone's fighting each other, which is not for me. I've opted out of European conflict. I, I just went, no, thank you. And they're going to go, but why? And I'm going to go, because I don't want to. None of my business. Improved turret gearbox. You mean actual turret gearbox? They're like, you know, we used to just push those giant things around and we swore all the time. <laughs> We're like, yeah. And he's like, well, we figured out if you put a gear between the, the wheelie bits, it's a little easier. We got the idea from this Archimedes guy. He was pretty cool. But hey, you know, Italy. Oh, cool. We figured out how to... Oh, look, Canada. Are you fucking kidding me? Have I turned Italy into a net exporter of boats in the 1890s? Holy shit, they're not buying from the UK, they're buying from Italy? Man, that's 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 some upsell shit. And we're doing all right. I thought we were doing kind of bad. But nah. Man, we are really moving along. Oh man, Portugal and Russia are no longer pals? That's weird. All right, let's see. The fleet. Yep, we got a lot of boats being made. Oh, hell yeah. One month to commission another wave of boats. Who do you have in marketing? P.T. Barnum? Probably. <laughs> These are the most splendiferous boats you have ever seen. Behold their ability to keep water out. Yeah, that's probably what we use to sell them. Uh, lies. So we're going to go ahead. Actually, P.T. Barnum was quite ethical as a businessman. His book, The Art of Money Getting, is actually incredible to read. If you read that book by modern standards, P.T. Barnum's like, The Art of Money Getting. You go, wow, this is actually incredibly principled uh, compared to like modern marketing stuff where it's like, it's okay to lie a little bit. P.T. Barnum is like, never say untoward words about people. And you're like, damn. Then again, I could see P.T. Barnum being on Twitter if he was around in the modern day. And he'd be like, <laughs> he'd be like, check this shit out. I just bought it. You can come gawk at it in person. Oh, cool. White powder instead of the black powder. We have slightly better smonk. Don't worry. We're still going to have smonk because these things all roll coal. Oh, man. They discovered oil? Oh, that's bad for them. We still believe in coal. We use anger rock. We use smonk. We believe in smonk. Now, let's look at our fleet here. Fleet in being? No, 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 no. Limited. Limited fleet. Fleet not important. We're just going to keep building up slowly until we have enough cruisers where you could walk from Greece to Italy to Spain without getting your feet wet. See, my plan is on day one of a war, I'm going to go out there and swing for the fences. And I will lose most of my boats, but I will damage most of their boats. Day two of the war, most of their boats are in port not working, and I still have 800,000 fucking bones it's 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 really big so yeah we're gonna we're gonna build a navy that is numerically okay not superior okay we're just gonna keep building up our uh oh a person has been arrested with strong evidence that he was spying on our country uh let's see i can accuse somebody yeah i'm just i'm not gonna tell the public because i don't have enough teeth to fight america at this point because this is that era of, like, American exceptionalism, and they would probably come over here and big stick us to death. I would have to fight some very rough characters. All right, improve. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Austro-Hungary is fine. Russian Empire took Sakhalin. That's interesting. Uh, I thought that was theirs at this point, but I could be wrong. Uh, torpedo propulsion. We're going to definitely put a little bit of research into that. Uh, let's get into our finances. Oh, yeah. All right, we're not going to up our training budget because our Navy doesn't do anything other than sit around and play with, like, slide whistles. <laughs> they, my Navy is probably a marching band at this point. They just march around and, you know, act important. 
Need more Vespine gas. No, we're probably going to need more coal as time goes on. And I'm probably going to end up having to fight either Austro-Hungary or France. And I'm pretty sure I might be able to take France. Mexico wants to buy more ships. No problem, Mexico. Uh, no problem. I'm going to I'm going to get more guns and more research into stuff and then once I get a little bit more fleet I'm going to upgrade the whole fleet at once from crap to slightly less crap. I'm going to go from austere to modest. All right, let's see. Good goddamn. We are actually getting this done well. Yes, yes indeed. So it looks like China doesn't like us. The United States is a little sore on us for some reason. I don't know why, but look at all this money we have. I'm just going to sit on it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh-huh. They're, they're, they're really... China is trying to pick a war with me, which... <clears throat> wow. Oh, Canada. Yes, yes, I will sell to Canada. No problem. No problem. <clears throat> Let's see. Better shells? Yes. Boilers? No. We're just going to try to get some better shells, turret mechanisms, and such while we uh, keep rolling our uh, keep rolling our boats. And we don't have to manually build the ships uh, that we're selling. They just get added to our shipyard, and they go into that build order, more or less. I've also built a massive transport fleet, so if we go to war, this is not going to be a problem so much for me. Semi-armor piercing shells, really good idea. We're also going to put more into uh, internal protection, which is critical. It's absolutely critical. We're just going to keep building more boats. Oh, man. Wait, what? Oh, man. Oh, man. There's some fighting over Egypt right now. Ah, the center party won. Everyone remembers the center party. Uh-oh. The United States is starting to poke Chef Boyardee. This ain't so good. I don't know why they're being so mean. We didn't do anything wrong yet. I mean, we're thinking of doing wrong stuff, but, I mean, not it right away. That's, that's, not, that's not even remotely nice. All right, so we've managed to get our shipyards pretty big, and we're going to continue building them until they are absolutely enormous so that we can have bigger boat. So, bonjourno. Indeed. We're going to have some fun. All right. Now, we can get better armor forging, which is probably going to be a huge criticality here as we get up in our fleets. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, we got even more boats. No, we need to make these cheaper. No, just anchor them. Don't worry about everything else. We're just going to sit there and anchor our boats. We're going to let them be the wide world of Rustolium. We're going to have a corrosion study in the port. Everyone can look at our corrosion at once. Oh, the secondary turrets on light cruisers, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, Ethiopia and France are fighting. Ottoman Empire is fighting for Kosovo. British Empire is taking control of Haiti. Uh, okay, that uh, sounds like none of my business. All right, so the fleet is getting there. We now have 31 boats. We're building boats for other people. And uh, I'm going to do what I can to now overhaul these boats as soon as I get slightly better armor forging. Armor quality is not going to go up for a bit because we're not going to start getting access to like Krupp cemented armor and shit for a bit. But I think 10 more boats ought to do for the short term. Just so we can be annoying. Oh man! The United States has increased its navy budget, so we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to increase our budget to the uh, economy and sell more into Italy, or Canada, yeah. Canada can have our boats so they can bully America. That's, that's what we're going to do. I'm playing a very lopsided game here, but we'll see. Oh man, Bulgaria is taking up arms and stuff? That sounds like none of my business. Again, it's it's just one of those things. They go, man, what should we do? Well, we should basically do nothing. I, I'm quite content to do nothing, and I'm quite content to let the world do whatever. I'm slowly building up a navy that is made of boats. 
some of which might be real and some of which might be pretend. They don't need to know which boats are which boats. They do not need to know this. All right. Don't worry about Bulgaria. Bulgaria is doing what Bulgaria wants. It's none of my business. I don't care if they have to ship their boats over on a train to fight somebody. Oh, Ottoman controls Palestine? All right, that's interesting. It's 1894 and Italy has been pretty cool. Nobody has fought Italy. A few people have poked at us. Denmark regains the full control of the Virgin Islands. Okay. That's... That's a bit much. I mean... That, you know... I thought I thought I knew... The Danish capabilities of sea, sea going, but... Huh. Alright, go Denmark. Um, goddamn. Now I'm running a slight negative right now because of the massive upbuilding campaign we have. But yeah, the Danes finally have a vacation spot. I just don't think they're allowed to tan. They're going to burn. Okay, the Kiel Canal is complete, which appeals to not me because I'm in the Mediterranean. It's like, hey, if you went up there, you could go around the thing. And I'm like, what is, no. All right, you know what? I, I poked the United States back. I said, no, thank you. And they're, they're like, okay. Commissioning one month. Got it. Yeah, Hat's ancestors decided they wanted to take their distant lands again. Quite true. All right. Hole strengthening range finders. Range finders are going to help because before that it's called range guessers where a guy's like seven. And you're like, I don't, I don't think that's real. And he's like eight. All right, going to take all these ships in being. And I'm going to go to limited. There we go. Good enough. So we now have this giant navy that does nothing. It has nothing. It, it, it is not really a navy. Oh, Canada wants to buy three more. Ah, oh, man, I tell you, it's good to be known as a naval genius. Everyone lines up to buy your boats, mainly countries that don't have naval history. And, uh, yeah. All right. Now we need to get into this whole uh, redesign boats to not be crap business. All right. You consider the United States a potential adversary. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll, build, we'll build ships for anybody. I don't give a fuck. That's what ships are for. Buying. It, I mean, the definition of a ship is a hole in which you throw money. A hole in the water in which you throw money. That's the definition of a ship. Sometimes they float. Sometimes they do not. Oh man, Sudan's new leader is currently considered a threat for the, what? Well, between shared borders? Shared borders. Are you talking about my little expeditionary forces down here are trying to start something with Sudan? All right, fine, you, you just do that. That's none of my business. You do that down there. You just go ahead. You just go ahead and start poking countries. I know I had a little bit of Africa, but you guys don't need to go down there and start starting stuff. You guys barely figured out how to put your pants on. All right, let's get into, uh, what is the next explosive dev? Uh, no, not really. All right, let's get into refit. We're going to view this ship and we're going to design a refit for the boats that have never fought anybody. Now, you may notice the roll and pitch are excessive. That's because this boat is made of sad. So we're going to then do a, uh, where's my refit button? Refit mode. Exit, exit without saving. Did I hit the right button? We'll find out shortly. I intend to refit my boats to be slightly less crap. A little bit less of that vitamin C. You know what I mean? Vitamin crap. And we're going to do a new design based off that, see? Uh, actually, wait. Oh yeah, see, I should be able to refit these here. See, I, I must have done something stupid. Okay, now I am in refit mode. I thought I was dumb, but I am. 
All right, triple expansion of steam engine. We're gonna balance that. Uh, fuel is coal. We're gonna go into iron plate. Oh man, we're gonna get up into nickel steel, barbette, some anti torp stuff, sunny D. Uh, we're gonna put a citadel in it. We're gonna use gun cotton and 16 inch torpedoes. And my God, we're gonna use coincidence range finders, which is going to be a coincidence if we fucking hit anything. All right, let's see, white powder. We're gonna use nose fuse because I want these to explode like crazy. Semi armor piercing because why not? And then we're going to add, uh, let's see. Let's take this to 22 knots. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give these things a proper belt. Uh, and then we're gonna turn this into an armored box. Main deck armor is a little good, but plunging fire is very unlikely in this time period. Uh, we're going to make the fore and aft decks quite meaty. And then we're going to add a little bit of armor to the superstructure so it's funny. And then we're going to get a little bit of armor for the guys up front so they don't have their coffee get knocked out of their hands because Italians don't like that. They, If they drop their coffee, they get mad. They go, what in the fuck? You know, the pasta stops. It's not a good time. And thank you guys for donating uh, or sub up subscribing and all those things. I'm not really good at this whole streaming business. But hey, it's 1895 and it's time to refit the prostitute. So let's go ahead and apply it to the whole Navy, which as you can see has varying tonnages because they don't know how to build boats real good. And that's sad. So it's going to take uh, 41 refits to try to build these ships right. Using this magical, magical thing called math. Which is very, very important if you're designing ships. A lot of ships are not designed with good math throughout history. And that is the reason why they explode or roll over or don't float. Or rather, don't displace water. Yes, engine efficiency 12%. Well, it's up from zero, so there we go. China and Bhutan are fighting because what in the fuck? And yeah, seems fine. Seems fine. Seems okay. It's going to take two months to refit the whole Navy, and hopefully they're going to use this thing called standards, where most of our boats are... Uh... <laughs> uh, correct? I'm hoping... Oh, man. We're going to have a good time. Military conflict. Oh, man. People are all fighting. Sounds like, again, none of them are business. So we have 41 boats, um, including some we're building for other people. Uh, relations with the United States? Yeah, no. I, I don't care if I have to fight the United States. Bring it. You come over here and say something. We'll, we'll see. Catch me outside. How about that? I'm going to keep building my GDP so I have massive amounts of money. And then we are going to build... Uh, no, we're not going to build the Costa Concordia class, but I may build the Scatino class in name of the most famous Italian captain in history. I made a joke that the most fam famous Italian captain in history was, um, you know, Christopher Columbus. And... Uh, an Italian fan of mine wrote me an email and said, how dare you? That is not the most famous Italian captain. The most fam famous Italian captain is Scatino, who is the captain of the Costa Concordia. Italians have a wonderful ability to shitpost and laugh at themselves, and I really appreciate that. I think most people need a little bit of that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Make the Lou Albano. Yeah, Captain Lou Albano. Oh, Japan and the Chinese Empire are swinging at each other. That'll be interesting, actually. But again, none of my business. I might take Majorca, though. That sounds very nice. I like Majorca. Alrighty, what are we doing? Armor quality? Yeah, we're going to boost the shit out of that so we can build an even better prostitute class. And, oh, we need to build a bigger shipyard so we can build more boats. And we're barely keeping our crew pool positive. Barely. Now is the time of tooting. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Night Owl. I appreciate it. By the way, for those of you guys curious, not one dime of the WBPL 76 budget has reached my pocket. It is not the purpose of this. A lot of people thought I was doing this as yet another side hustle or something. 
but my own people on the Patreon uh, know that I am a very staunch, I don't want to do merch, I just want to make film sort of guy, which means I'm hopelessly outclassed in this world. But um, this whole proceeds goes to the community and helps fund the meetups and stuff, which is actually really good. So I, I want you guys to know that we really do appreciate it. It helps all the streamers you've seen. Oh, Canada wants to buy more ships. Helps all the streamers you guys have seen, like, you know, get their equipment. Like Maverick's heart monitor to see how spooked he is. All that stuff comes from your donations and it helps people get started in streaming and it's helping people learn their place as creators and learn how to build stuff and you know i think that's the right spirit of this stuff and i want you guys to know you've been part of that yeah equipments games meetups supplies it's helped everybody and that's why we do this shit so if you need to feel good on a monday i'd say fucking take that one that's a win in my book all right, so we need to build a piece of shit navy, uh, or rather, more piece of shit navy. Actually, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna build uh, ten more of these, and I'm just gonna keep upgrading them. I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly upgrade these 1890s doodle dudes, and we're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, we got Mav a heart monitor for a spoopy game, or rather Diggs did, which I think is hilarious. Uh, I told the Chinese Empire they can come and fight us if they want, because I don't think they have the range to get over here, and I know I don't have the range to go over there, so... This is the equivalent of two guys on opposite ends of the country in 1850 telegramming each other with insults. This is basically a rap battle. <laughs> this is really dumb. All right, let's see. One of our spies has been caught in the United States. Oh, man, talk about spaghetti falling out of his pockets. All right, let's see. Relations with the United States? Yeah, well, you know what? They can come over here and fight me. I'll go over there and I'll blow up that Statue of Liberty. I'll be like, ah, this is a nice statue of a lady. And then pff, blow it up, you know. I'll go pour the... Like, imagine the American response in the 1890s. They start calling, like spaghetti they're like oh you mean freedom noodles <laughs> they start pouring pasta sauce out in the street oh my god okay albania's new leader was found on uh, a tower of terrorism uh, nah, nah, uh oh uh-huh yeah, mm -hmm, yeah yeah yep yeah let's go stick it to albania mission list conquest albania you need tonnage no problem I have that much in one boat. Y you. Move ships. Right there. Both of them. There we go. Let's just go take Albania. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? We're just... We're just gonna... Yeah, we'll fill the Statue of Liberty with pasta sauce. The whole thing. They... Well, the whole thing. We'll fill up... Yeah. They'll be like, what the fuck? And I'll be like, yeah, that's nice. We cooking up something good. All right. So our Navy is going to help us conquer Albania. That seems fun. In theory. By in theory, I mean, I, I'm starting to hear taps in my head. I, I'm presuming that they're going to come over here and beat the ever-loving shit out of us. I, I presume they're going to put on the big boy pants and stomp on over here to sort us out. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. I've said it before and said it again, but you guys are really helping. And that is kind of important. The world needs more helpers. Now let's fill up the boilers. And let's see. Oh, man, we're going to take Albania. Yeah. We're going to go over to Albania and be like, sup, I'm going to take over your stuff. All right. The government is worried about the growing international tension. Uh-huh. Uh uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Naval funds? No. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, man. We should not. Yeah, we should not interfere with justice. Um, mm. You know what? Yeah. Empire of Japan can do whatever. Not my not my cup of tea to go over there and fight. I'm already picking on China, so we'll see what they do. See if they come over here and want to have a throwdown of Ultimate Destiny. 
All righty, let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, there's the prostitute class. Oh boy, building new ships. Building new ships, building new ships. It's gonna be bad. Oh wow, ballastite, we're getting there. Oh, standard firing drill, as opposed to just throw lead at stuff. Uh, roll C, uh, let's, mm. all right, move. I want you to go back to your port. Oh wow, look, we conquered Albania. Fuck yeah. We control part of stuff. Oh man, a question about the foreign policy of Chinese empire as a government. Yeah, well, let's just say that um, they're dumb and we rule. Uh, I don't comment on rumors and 17-inch torpedo tubes. Got it. Let's see. Hull strengthening, hull construction, gun layout, internals protection. Yeah, ship repairs and all that stuff. I'm just going to leave it be. It says we're still building ships. In theory, we're going to have to upgrade these to prostitute classes uh, or prostitute. Well, I'm going to have to do yet another refit, actually. <laughs> Italy, what is a China? And they're like, what the is a China? I, I, it seems very far away. I, I definitely would not put it past the Italians to be like, we declare war on and then spin the globe in point. Um, we'll see what happens. Prostitute, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to wait until these boats are done, and then I'm going to put fresh paint on them and call them new. Oh, let's see. Oil. Uh-huh. They found oil in Sumatra. Well, that's the end of their freedom. Um, Let's go ahead and see. Hull strengthening and hull construction and engines. I'm going to do what I can to just boost all of those at the same time. Okay, they are commissioning those ships. Now, most of them are going to be defective. That's just how it's going to be. That's just how it's going to be. Most of these ships are going to be incredibly defective. And I'm fine with that. Uh, let's get into our fleet. Oh, in being? No, I don't think so. They're going to be not in use. We are going to stay out of trouble as Italy. We're going to be like, no, he's a good boy. And then we're going to create yet another uh, refit. As soon as these get completed, I will build a new generation of prostitute. Oh, I'm going to have to do the noodle war sooner or later. I think that would be kind of cool. The Far East versus Italy over the... Uh, oh man, Canada wants to buy more prostitutes? That's crazy. I didn't put an R in there. All right. It's a prostitute. The next one's going to be called Mamma Mia or Captain Lou Albano. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about the threat of the United States. They come over here and they talk so big and they have that song about, you know, put a feather in the hat and call it macaroni. That's an insult, you know. That's not cool. You're not allowed to do that. I told China that, you know... We don't, we don't know where they are on the map, but they, they can suck it. And uh, we probably mailed them some, like, pasta in the mail or something. They're probably upset about that. Cool, multiple expansion steam engines. Now we're cooking with coal still because these boats suck. Ah, let's see. Yep, looks like we are on the route to a war with China. And the last six years of naval training have recruited perhaps 80 people in the whole country so if i have a war this is going to end badly persia's buying boats canada's buying boats i don't understand why but whatever not my problem not my problem at all let's let's get into the ship design again and build another one and goat if you're listening could you bring me a tall glass of water my throat is bothering me something awful i'd appreciate it all right, let's see. Uh, let's get up to, uh, yep, we're going to go multiple expansion. We're going to go balanced. We're going to go induce boilers, and steam steering is fine. We're going to get into, ooh, that's expensive. That's, you know what, we need the armor strength. Yeah, it's going to be expensive to overhaul all this shit, but I don't care. 
reinforced bulkheads and all that stuff and putting those in there ballastite 17 inch torpedoes and then coincidental range finders because we're still dumb nose fuse and then uh yeah all right now we need to build up the citadel which is still terrible this is my favorite citadel on the citadel we're gonna put armor and all sorts of blocks we're gonna make this thick we're gonna put a nice thick deck on it and then yeah and we'll put the rest in the superstructure so even the flag is armored people are gonna go why and i'll be like because and good enough engine efficiency is up to 39.6 percent good enough good enough for what don't worry about it yeah lasagna ere someone hits it and it just <laughs> people are like what the fuck is that and i'll be like ah, don't worry be happy all right now we've got a whole bunch of boats that we have to proceed with uh yeah it's gonna take four months to rebuild the whole fucking navy so no war in the next four months and we'll be okay maybe i am a victor emmanuel the third and this is my favorite boat in the citadel and you're like what and he's like pasta i don't know how he sounded he's probably a lot cooler than that probably a great deal more regal as well I don't know, man. An Italian king has probably got a lot of drip, you know? He's probably got, like, 50 Italian greyhounds. He's probably got, like, a crown that's made out of other crowns and stuff. We can get a double bottom, which is an internet term we should probably not look up, I guess. Everything is these days. Ah, boy. Come on, boat. Come on, boat. Come on, boat. And don't worry about having to Google history. Everyone does. Uh, it's very rare to find someone, even people who studied a field for the whole of their life, that have really... Uh-oh. Canada still wants to buy boats. This is insane. All right. So, we are building a lot of fucking ships. And Kazakhstan is full of oil. Got it. You know what? I'm going to bully China a little bit more. Oh, and Canada wants to buy upgraded ships again. Okay, Canada. That seems normal. Well, we have a bunch of boats, and some of them are okay. And we are almost done with building our things up, and yeah, we'll be all right. Oh, man. I know what you're talking about. The lasagna microwave meals that were actual lasagna, not just wavy pasta and meat sauce. My favorite was the old one where it said lasagna and you put it in the microwave. And it was just that one lavy, wavy, lav you know, like a uh, wafer of lasagna. Like just one, one of the noodle, and then just juice. <laughs> it was just like pasta juice. I am arming the shit out of Persia and Canada. I don't know what's going on in other parts of the world, but pasta is, an, is a big sales point. I guess we just get them so fucking hungry they can't eat. Oh, Canada wants more boat. And it looks like we are now net positive again because we have a giant shipyard and we're building ass loads of ships for people. And they said our technology is advanced. I don't think that's true. Compared to ourselves 10 years ago, sure. Uh, compared to other navies, I think that's, that's a lie. Um, we're just going to sit here and be cool with it. All right, here we go. Now, the ones that used to watch out for, uh, the ones that used to be really bad in terms of, in terms of like bad, bad microwave meals were those Michelinas pastas because they were just chock full of gross. Just chock full of gross. Oh, man. Torpedo boat destroyers? You mean the beginning of destroyers? Oh, wow. Mauritania has been conquered by the Spanish Empire. All right. Let's see. Control station, range finders, got it. Ship design, uh-huh. Fleet. Mm, the fleet is made of boats. We are almost at war with China. All it took is 10 years of being very Italian. Oh, man. This is going to be good. Oh, wow, I could get more money 
or let's boost the GDP. Our naval pres- we have no unrest. Everyone is happy, and we have a net gain of property. Um, I don't know how I played this, but I'm running this navy like, yeah. Hey, goat, could you get me some water, please? I asked a bit ago, but I think you stepped away. I just appreciate a little bit of water. Uh, nope, we're going to bully China, and we're going to boost the GDP, and then, yeah. We're going we're gonna to bully people. That's what we do with this navy, which has never sailed anywhere except... S- It's gone like 80 miles across to Albania and back. That is its only history of deployment. That is the only history of its deployment in its history. Now I'm going to build a massive shipyard complex. Massive. But yes, I'm going to need a little bit of... Yeah. yeah, uh. The Michelin Apostle meals are not good. Yes, come in. The Michelin Apostle meals are indeed not good. Uh, Thank you, goat. Are indeed not good. And... Look, anything's okay if you dump half a tube of craft parm in there. If you put half a tube of craft parm in anything, it would be fine. You could be like, oh man, all I have is spam. Well, if you parm it up. Hmm. Let's see. Uh huh. Oh yeah, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be belligerent. I'm just gonna invite the Chinese to send their navy over here in a voyage of the damned to do something about my navy, which has gone in the history of its creation from Bari to Durazzo, just that much across the Adriatic. Just that's it. That's as far as it's gone. It was like a day. It's it's like a day and a half. Yeah, the Museum of Modern Naval History in Rome is a shed with a map of Albania named to the wall, and it says, remember that one time. <laughs> has a bunch of, like, crayon drawings in there. Here's what we think it could have looked like had we had used any of the guns. Oh, cool, contra-rotating propellers so we don't just have to go one direction. That's really nice. Can we get... No, damn. I really wish we could get something better. Cruiser design? Yeah. 8,000 tons a cruiser? That sounds pretty audacious. I don't think we're going to build those. It's kind of weird that I'm running this navy actually kind of competently and that it's not seen a war, it's actually completed three modernization programs and it's solvent. It's actually financially solvent as a navy. Oh, man. I don't know. Lipton Cup of Soup is typically used as a flavor base or packet for stuff. Like, the Lipton little packets are pretty good if you have, like, some shit roast or something and you need to make it, like, not great. I'm not gonna bully... Yeah, I'll bully the U.S. I'll, I'll just say, like, nah, come over here and fight me. Come on, Teddy. Bring it. Bully indeed. Huh? Spanish Empire failed to take course in Morocco. That's what you get for believing in stuff. I'm just going to sit here with my navy of 51 ships that I've only moved two of them once. Ever. I've rebuilt them a bunch of times, but I've never sent them anywhere. All right, building new ships. Building new ships. Stereoscopic range finders. Yes. Canada wants to buy more. Canada cannot get enough of takeout Italian. All right, we're going to design a new ship soon. Not quite. I'm going to wait till, well, let's see. Shipyard size is 32,000 tons displacement capability. Selling ships to Mexico. Uh, Yeah, I think we're probably going to end up going to war with China before too long. And that's fine. I mean, what, what are they going to do? Come over here? Doubtful. So let's, let's design a new boat. All right, we're going to build one for Captain Lou Albano, the most famous Italian captain in history. <laughs> do the Mario. Ba, 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 da, ba, da. Oh, man, look at this thing we can build. Small semi-dreadnought. Semi-dreadnought. Semi. Not full dreadnought. Just mostly, uh, yeah, all right. Lou Albano. I'm Captain Lou Albano. All right. And we're going to put some stuff in these and things. We're going to put a little bit of better steering in there. Harvey armor and then anti 
twerp and then double bottoms and then any flood measures also known as doors that close um four decks uh four deck let's let's put you there secondary rear tower we're gonna put you there and then what's that smunk why yes yes i think so see you need to have a lot of smonk stacks just so uh you have all the smonk you need when you get underway and people know how truly powerful you are now some will say that's too much fucking smoke text and i'll say what are you the enemy of fun like nine inch guns not the greatest but good enough i'll do six inch guns for the secondaries and i will put them up here and just infuriate people actually wait a second can i put eight inch guns just no let's do five inch guns there we go no all right all right casemates any casemates in here not yeah who cares torpedo launchers i'm gonna put them all over the place all right so these are boats in theory look at this thing look at look at our boy look at our boy look look at him look at our boy here what a boat huh oh we're gonna put fancy range finders on it are we gonna put charges made out of stuff nose fuse uh-huh and then we're gonna do capped for nose fuse and then <laughs> all right so the deck is pretty okay and then we'll make that citadel armor redonkulous so people can't pin it round that out i'm gonna add a little bit more onto this and onto that okay all right we'll we'll whittle that down a little bit of superstructure armor just so the funnels are <laughs> bulletproof. <laughs> Gotta protect our smunk, you know. All right, Lou Albano class. Engine efficiency 300%. Yeah. Oh, yes. This is where the dumb begins. Here he is. Good old smunk. So say welcome to our new fleet leader, a Captain Lou Albano. We're gonna we're gonna build like ten of these, and hopefully it don't bankrupt us. It might bankrupt us, but it's fine. Ten battleships and fifty-one cruisers. The Italian Navy. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna slowly bankrupt ourselves as we build a larger navy, but it's fine. As soon as I put these ships and anchor them next to the other rusting hulks, we'll be on point. Oh, man. I don't think these things can reach the Chinese either. And the east coast of Africa is nothing but foreign ports now. It's, I mean, there's there's a foreign port that is completely different every 20 miles. So this is like an RPG. Reminds me of Sunless Sea, where you just go to another port, another port, another port. And you're like, who's in charge here? And you're like, yeah, who cares? It doesn't matter. Oh, man. Engine efficiency. Yes. 300% efficiency at 20 knots. That's like saying it works all the time, a third of the time. The year is currently 1899, which is a year. It is, it is a year. We, the world has changed. We are very changed in the world. War change. Right now we're running a bit of negative um, with our monthly balance. National Chinese Empire Revolution. The government has been overthrown. Okay. Oh, Canada wants a Lou Albano. No problem. Why? Why are people signing up to buy our crap? The government is interested. Yeah, uh-huh, no problem. 
Yeah, we could absolutely beat the shit out of China if they came over here and I didn't have to go very far and they don't have more boats than I do. We could absolutely win under those specific conditions. Yeah, absolutely. Um, whoa, people provoking us? That's not nice. We're pretty okay guys. Denmark now has Iceland. Let's, you know, eh, eh. Well, Canada wants to do the Mario. Swing your arms and then do 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 do. All right, I may have to trim my budget a bit to finish these ships out, and that's fine. The Navy budget must be increased. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we need to increase our. Uh, uh huh. Yeah, head of Japanese Navy got fired. Probably for doing what I'm doing, which is just massively upbuilding without a plan to pay for it. Um, let's see. We're building this, we're building that. It will be 16 months before we finish these things, because they're all huge. And it will be, yeah, we are massively over our shipbuilding capacity, which sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and run this back down to 0.01% up, because that is the top line we're at. And I'm going to wait until we get into a war and then use the war budget money to do very stupid things. Yeah. United States riots as banana prices soar. Yeah, see, people are people are going to get really mad because of all the dumb stuff I'm doing. Uh, but this seems to be effectively working so far. We're almost there with a the shipyard building, which is fine. We're running through our money, which is not fine. Uh, but yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, man, financial uh, decreased. Uh, the government wants to cut the Navy's budget. That is unacceptable. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say that, um, yeah, ask the ministers to cut their own appetite. How's that? Oh, the Soviet Union exists in 1900, and the Austro-Hungarian Empire is fighting them. Okay. Sure. Why not? Uh, United States is going for Honduras because of bananas. And then we're going to be definitely fighting people for a bit. I, I'm feeling that there is a war coming, and it is not going to be good. Yeah, so the Soviet Union is is rolling into Europe and is, is apparently doing pretty okay. Uh, Serbia pushed back the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Soviet Union is going through Bohemia, Moravia. Soviet Union has tried to take Ukraine. All sorts of bonkers going on here. Meanwhile, Italy is just doing its best to export Italian virtues, which is not participating in war while pretending to. And I've unlocked Picric Acid. Oh yes. The fleet is ready. I agree, Mr. Train. The burning has only begun. The Fire Nation will attack. All right, so now our balance is positive. Ta-da! All right, we got more shells, we got defensive minefields. We have built a very large mass, ma or uh, very large shipbuilding capacity, which is good. I'm gonna slowly start getting the transport capacity a little bit back up, just so I have some buffer. Mr. Train is excited. Everyone's excited at the war. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a good time. Electrical powered submarine. That sounds dumb, but all right. Again, no one has fought us so far. It's almost like Italy is just sitting in here like a Jack Russell Terrier. I can fight everyone inside of the four walls of the Med. Outside of that, these boats ain't gonna make shit. These boats will just go out of there and womp womp. They'll just stop. This is a weird world. Soviet Union. I mean, okay, I could see them throwing the Romanovs off earlier. I could definitely see that. Oh, military crisis in Rwanda. Uh, what's my Navy going to do about that? Like, it's Rwanda. It's, it's, no. Like, what could I do about it? Uh-oh, Mexico wants Lou Albano. All right, and Spain's trying to take Sudan. What? All right. I mean, sure. 
The fleet is capable of doing anything they ask of it, which has been nothing. That no one has asked me to do anything other than drive the boat like that far. From there, all the way to there. From there, all the way to there and back. That's it. That is the only deployment we've had. 100% successful, 0% fail rate. Best Navy. <laughs> the best Navy we have. Oh my God. And yes, uh, submarines are electrically powered in this time period because you have gas to electrics at first and then diesel to electrics later. Um, and the idea is you run up a battery uh, as you're driving the diesel engine on the surface and then you dive and sip off of the electric battery. So it's, it's a charge one, use the other. You don't get snorkels until much later, and even then they don't really work all that well at first because you are limited by your speed and also having the snorkel above water. Let's people know where you are because there's this thing called radar. And when you see this giant metal pole sticking out of the water with diesel belching out of it, they don't go, hmm, that seems like some sort of strange whale. They go, that's a U-boat. It's 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 quite unmistakable when you see a pall of diesel smoke going through the water. That seems kind of dumb. Okay, armor quality. We're gonna see if we can't up that while we're doing our thing. We haven't built a larger shipyard in a while. And who is this? Who 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 in the what? What is that? All right, that's China. Okay. I was just like, what the fuck? All right, so China is still very belligerent toward us, and they may want to fight us at some point. Oh, man. All right, so we're going to do better hull construction and hull strengthening. This will save us some stuff, and we'll slowly start getting into Italian dreadnoughts. Oh, yeah. I mean, snorkels reduce visibility to a point, but by the time they're doing, you know, aerial radar and magnetic anomaly detection, snorkels are just kind of not really what you need. Uh, what you need at that point is actually quick dive capability, which is kind of a problem, because if you look at the Type 9 U-boats, the really long-range ones, there's one in the Chicago uh, Museum of uh, Technology. But uh, when you look at the Type 9 U-boats, they require over 60 seconds to dive, even in an emergency. And so by the end of the war, you start looking at U-boats that have like sub 35 second dive times because it's, oh my God, I got spotted. And by the time the plane comes around again, you're gone and can change direction. The problem with a lot of the older U-boats is you're like, I need to get underwater. And it takes a while for that to happen. That's usually where the plane comes by and fucks your shit up. You know, it's it's kind of a game changer. Snorkels are interesting, but it's not a you can't find me button. All right. Oh, Soviet Union took over Turkmenistan. They fired the head of the Chinese Navy again. So, uh, yeah, the uh, looks like the Soviet Union is trying to take Norway. Netherlands took Sumatra. And it uh, looks like there's some sort of World War I, but with the Soviet Union instead of Austro-Hungary. And there's no Germans involved, and the Italians are certainly staying the fuck out of this one. I'm not getting involved, because that's none of my business. Alright, building 12 battleships. As soon as I have my battleships done, I will be fine. And yeah, they probably did fire him out of a cannon. <laughs> they were probably like, hey, does your head fit in here? And then, <laughs> yep. They fired the head of their navy, and we got Krupp armor now. Oh, cool. In Greece and something? Nah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I've sold a whole navy to Canada. This is great. This is great. In two months, in two months, I will have my navy's battleships. Excellent. Yeah, I do think the Germans are probably very upset. They're... <laughs> The Germans are probably extremely upset. They're like, wait, you started this whole thing without us? And I'm, yes. All right. Uh, so my battleships just got deployed. That's an interesting idea. Because I'm going to tell them to drop anchor and sit still. Because, again, uh, too expensive to float. I'm just going to be like, nope, you're not going to do nothing. 
You're not going to do nothing. You're going to sit there and you're going to go be a limited fleet and being. There we go. There we go. See, now we're making the big money. We're making that big money again. Oh, man. They, they, they were in the head of their admiralty again. Oh, and the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the Empire of Japan are having a throwdown. Okay, that's weird. Again, sounds like none of my business, but let's go ahead and uh, do a refit of the prostitute one last time. All right, I can't stretch the hull. I don't think the game lets you do... Yeah, you can't stretch the hull at all, which would be interesting to cut the middle out of the boat and then just be like, yeah, it's got more boat now. I added 30% more boat, so you can boat while you boat. We're going to put Krupp armor on these things, because why not? And then we're going to reinforce the shit out of them. And this is going to be the last of the Postitude class. Stereoscopic rangefinders, of course. Because why not? Fancier 18-inch torpedoes. Picric acid, because fuck them. And then nose fuse. And then, eh, simi. There we go. That'll be okay. Now, these are not great boats, and I'm going to up their speed to 22 knots, which is terrifying. And then we're going to go ahead and add more armor onto these so people fight them and go, what is going on? And I would go, I don't know. They, I made them like that. And people would go, that seems very implausible. And I'll be like, good. Good. That's exactly what I want. And then, uh, yeah, all right, let's do this. Uh, ship, it, it says everything is terrible. That's fine. It, I'm fine with it being all terrible. It, engine efficiency, I finally got up to 32%. So, huzzah. And hey, pancreatic acid is that opportunity for both of us to enjoy the same fire at the same time. You know, simultaneously, we can both feel that burning, yearning love. Pastitude, refit ship. And let's do the whole thing. Prostitute and all the boats. And there and there. It's going to take two months to refit all of them. That's fine. It's just going to take a small fortune while they all get picric acid and huzzah. It's really about the fun, I find. It's, it's really about spreading that warmth you have in your heart to others, isn't it? I think it is. All right, what are we going to do now? Okay, and refit one more, and then we should have the refits complete, maybe? If they can find the parts. Come on. We use the same fucking guns. Ah, yes. Good old center party. What's your political outlook? Eh. Oh, cool. We got radio telegraph now. We can send memes over teletype. What would the center party slogan be? Yep. Vote center party. It's a party. <laughs> what? Why? All right. Let's let's refit the Albano a little bit. Yeah, center party. Sure. Yep. Why not? I have no strong feelings. Sounds good. Yeah. Center party. All right. We're just going to put some more fancy stuff in these. Make. Oh, wow. I can't do that. Now I can do that. Uh, Crop armor. Oh, yeah. Now I can do this. 20 knots is good enough. Yeah. Vote center. Center party. It's comfy. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Playing both sides at the wrong time. Center party. You're not my mom. All right. Ah, oh, hell yeah. We induce more pitch. These things are going to roll over on their own. I don't need no help from nobody. Center party. No need for pants. So we're going to 
refit all of our boats, including the ones that are massively overweight because they were built with too much stuff and they had some left over at the shipyard and they just glued it on anyways because if they didn't, they were fired. Center party. Boat stuff. Vote boat. Center party. Oh, Thailand got conquered by France. Wow. Well, they need a new place to drive their hotels, right? Oh. <laughs> Opinions require thought. Let's see. Naval budget. Uh, yeah, I don't care. I, I don't care. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah, they're... Oh, my God. The... The Russians and the Japanese are both trying their hardest to suck up to Italy. You know what? I think it's time to be belligerent. Don't you? I think it's time for us to take this pasta nation to go to pasta war with uh, somebody. All right, let's go. Th let's go see. Oh, China. China is all grown up. Going to be a looker. All right, let's see. Increase tension. Yep. Let's see what they think. Let's see. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's go find a problem. Let's go make a problem. Let's go start the noodle war. China is threatening us. Oh, and reducing the tension? No. Yes. All right, we got our war, boys. We got our war. <laughs> All we had to do was send a very strongly written letter. It says, hey, your country is not so nice. I no like. And they're like, how dare you? All right, I'm going to see if they come over here to do anything about it. While I soak up this vastly huge naval expenditure. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just sitting here going like, hey, you know what? No. Soviet Union's fighting China as well. Interesting. I'm going to use all that extra money they gave me to build a giant shipyard. I'm going to be like, oh, yes, uh, for the next war. Uh, 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 we will kick your ass. It's a boat. Oh, man. German Empire and the Soviet Union are fighting. Okay, World War I has kicked off in a very strange way. I'm largely staying out of it. I went and picked a war with China so I wouldn't have to do anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Nothing to do with me. Okay, lots of boats going everywhere. Okay. Oh, cool, it's the Republic of China now. They are sending six battleships and stuff over here. All right, so I need to put together a force of boat... I'm going to just have them all sit over here and bother them. My whole, my whole approach with this fight is just going to be as, be as weird as possible by interdicting anything that comes. That ship's named the Stromboli. <laughs> it is. That was not intentional, but that is very funny. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna just put all of our boats over here, and we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait here. Now, in Eve Online, we used to call this a gate camp. Oh wow, the head of their admiralty is getting threatened again because they're trying to keep up with their nemesis, Italy. Italy. Uh, they they certainly don't like what we got. I have more than half my navy left. Good old steam and stromboli. Yeah, I've got an interdiction here. So if they want to come through the port, they want to come through the canal, they want to roll up the Suez, I'm going to sit here and beat the shit out of them with this boat. Unless they try to go after my stuff down there. Where's the rest of their navy? Their, their navy is not willing to come over here. So I may have to go over there, which is not my favorite. Who do I send? I send this task force. 
and I'm going to send this task force all the way over here to Hong Kong. All right, boys, you can make it. Oh, man. Is that how you say it over there in England? I'll enter your diction, mate. That sounds Australian almost. All right, let's see. It seems like, oh, uh, who? Oh, German Empire, the United States, and the Spanish Empire all want to fight somehow. I think I could change their mind. All I have to do is go into politics here. And I'll be like, oh, wow. They don't like Italy all that much. Germany likes... Okay, you know what? We're going to improve relations. Yeah. And we're going to see what happens there. I'm going to see if my Navy can make it. I highly doubt they can without coaling in all of these ports. They're going to have to stop at Malacca and probably rebuild the engines. China blockades the Italian Empire? How? From where? With what? I'm seeing uh, no navy whatsoever in any... Yeah, it's, it's like, I, I don't think so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the rest of my navy over here to just be very belligerent and, and angry. And uh, I don't know what they're blockading, but yeah, not today. Definitely not today. The Voyage of the Second Pacific Pasta Squadron. <laughs> China blockades with a strongly written letter. RE your naval bases. Don't. Oh, wow. I can build destroyers that are slightly bigger. Nice. That's not going to help. All right. My Navy is making it. My Navy, my Navy is slowly making it. And they're, they're going to have to supply in foreign ports. But I'm going to slowly take my Navy... And I'm going to take it over here and just be incredibly belligerent. I, I know it says that they are blockading. It says that we are also being blockaded by the Germans and the Austrians. Which I did not know I was at war with, but who knows. I, I will send people out to fight them if I must. All right, my guys are rolling out. Yeah, it says we are being blockaded by the Germans and the Austrians, which I, I don't I don't think so. I don't think that's happening at all. I mean, if they want to try to blockade us, I, I could send the Navy out and just show them no. There we go. Let's just put the Navy in the water and uh, let it do what it does which is Navy stuff. If they, if they want to blockade us, I'm going to show them what blockading looks like. It's very slow in Italian. All right, let's see. Cameron Bay. Cool, we're going to fight in Vietnam. But early. Okay, here we go. The Italian Vietnam. And Marco Polo ain't got shit on me. <laughs> the pasta timeline. Oh, man. Okay, uh, let's see. War with the United States would not be great, so I'm going to pay them off. Yep, we're going to pay them off so they don't try to do bad stuff. And Austro-Hungarian Empire, they love us. I don't know why they'd be blockading us. I'm going to improve relations with the Germans. And then I suppose we're just going to, uh, you know what? Uh, let's see. I'm going to just do my best to be as annoying as possible. I'm going to put my boats right off Taiwan and see if we can't force an engagement. As the Italians go out to fight the Chinese off Taiwan. In 1903. Ah, yes. See, they stopped blockading us. I don't, I don't know how. Oh, Brazil and Germany budding up. Usually that doesn't happen until later. Oh, and war erupted between the Italian and German Empire for no reason. Oh, and the Austro-Hungarian. Okay. Okay. Well, that's fine. Looks like this has become now a much bigger fight. That's okay. That's why you build up a navy. All right, let's move these guys over here. We're just going to sit here and beat the shit out of people with our ship boats. 
All right, there. Okay, you know what? Let's see what else we got. Nothing here. Two cruisers there. All right, I'll put you guys down there near the boot. I'm going to put the rest of you guys down here near the boot. German Navy is doing some German Navy stuff, but not a lot. I'm going to put my guys near the trade lanes and see if I can't interdict them. And, uh, yeah, this should be all right. I'm going to do what I can to be very annoying. Here we go. We're going to have a fight at some point. It's a world war, but a really weird one. Yeah, it's time for a Chef Boyar beatdown. United States is threatening if we don't... Oh, wow. I'm not trying... To, uh, why? What do you want? A check? There. Have a check. Okay, the Brits and the Germans are at it. Oh, yeah. We're going to start trying to take stuff from uh, Austro-Hungary. This is going to be uh, a spicy meatball. All right. I'm going to try to put my navy in the arena to absolutely fight as best we can. Because I want to neutralize one of these navies that is fighting me. The Germans are out there doing stuff. My navy can't seem to catch their navy, which is typical. I'm going to put my guys off their shore. And come on, give me, give me something, game. Give me somebody to shoot. Give me something. Things are getting spicy now. Yeah, I intend to be very annoying. Okay. Ah, yes. We will become allied with the British. Ah, yes, a fight. Ah, that's what I wanted. All right, this is what you fuckers were waiting for. Boys, girls, AI, ask, masquerading as all sorts of things to overthrow us. Soon enough to solve their own captures and cause us doom. It is now time. To unleash the stupidity of the Navy we built during peacetime that we forced to become peacetime for far too long. It's good times. In theory, at least. Preparing for battle. The power of tea and lasagna. A formidable alliance. I like lasagna. <laughs> the time for talk is past. The time for Italian is now. I think the secret to my success here is going to be stupidity. I really think that is what it is, is just to build boats that shouldn't exist and see what they do. But now the Smonk fleet is going to do what it do for the reasons it do. Smonk fleet, the fleet of Smonk. Okie dokie, the smonk must flow. Holy rigatoni, Batman. Yeah, it's going to take a minute. Prepare for battle. Oh man, this is going to be a good time or a really, really bad time. But we're going to see how the pizza rolls out. By that I mean we'll see if this game actually loads because it's trying to prepare this battle and it's probably freaking out a bit because it's going, why? Why is this battle even happening? Why is Italy over in China fucking with people? And I'm like, eh, they started it. It's the war of the noodle, right? And they decided. They decided that there would be a war. And I decided I would help them find conflict. The day of the noodle is upon them. The day of the noodle. And that's really the secret here, I suppose, is waiting for this game to kick over. Oh, man. I was like, you know, Diggs, I'm going to play this because Depp's out for the day. And uh... <laughs> then this happens. This is a game of loading screens. I'm out of water again. God. I've been trying to hydrate as much as I can just because I don't enough. Like most of us. Yes, more Wawa, please. You know, it's kind of funny to say things the wrong way. Um, I love saying things the wrong way. I, I've started to do this when I was a kid just because I realized most people don't pay attention. 
Um, and one of the ways to make sure that people do pay attention is just to say things like an insane person. One of the ways you can do that is just mispronounce um, actor names. Uh, you know, like instead of uh, Joe, uh, Joe Pesci, you could be like Joe Pesky, pronounce it with a hard C. The other one is instead of Al Pacino, Al Pacino or Al Pacino. That seems to uh, that seems to make things. Thanks, Go. That seems to make things a little fun. Makes people, what's the word? Uncomfortable. Yeah. Alpaca. No. Alpaca. Yes. We're gonna prepare for battle. Apparently, at some point, the game will let me fight one. <laughs> And I'll read chat. So, SRW adding, Hey, Tex, been meaning to ask, have I played the Old World Blues mod for HOI 4? That's probably half of my HOI 4 hours, uh, believe it or not, is the Old World Blues mod. The other is the Road to 56 I like because it allows you to have a lot more fun than the same scripted 10 events, you know. It, it is what it is. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? Pepperoni in the torpedo tubes. Eventually, if the game lets me do something, it just says prepare for battle. And I'm like, I am. Please, let me have the battle. I would like to have a battle today. Just one. Just one tiny war crime. Not a big one. Not a huge war crime, obviously. <laughs> but, you know, a tiny war crime. Uh, the loading screen, though, is the real battle. It is what it is. So let's just sit here and wait and have a little bit of war crime. Some war crime. Three out of five war crime. Yeah, we're stuck in the loading screen. Perfectly Italian. Eh, we're just going to wait and see what happens. It takes a while to get the water boiling for the pasta of war. Yeah, the game's probably trying to calculate the war crimes trial after this. They'll be like, why is your whole navy using nothing but picric acid for filler? And I'll be like, it, uh, uh, it's Stromboli. You know, it's, it's what you do. Little bit of Stromboli, little bit of rock and roll. <laughs> Hague EXE has stopped working. Yeah, this would be an interesting time to see a naval fight because it's still an era where you have to get fairly close. Uh, a lot of people don't realize this, but if you go look at the various ages of naval engagement range, it's not until World War II that you start seeing engagement range will get really far over the horizon with the advent of, you know, planes and very, very, very accurate gunnery for the period and still relatively accurate today uh, gunnery. Especially with, you know, 15 and 16 inch guns and all sorts of range finders. But when you, when you look back at the early teens, it's like you have to sit out there on the wings of the ship with binoculars and go, what is that flag? And then try to guess by getting through a book or something and comparing, you know, the outlines of vessels and see what's going on. You have to get into throw shit at people range in order to positively confirm anything. And usually the first time you know you're in trouble is when someone started shooting at you. And no, they've not added subs yet. Uh, subs are kind of a background thing they've added in this game. I think maybe the game is getting really sad because it's like, hey, remember, remember when you wanted to play the naval game? Well, you're not gonna. And I'm like, God damn it. This is very annoying. Tell you what, I'm going to try to reload from the main screen and uh, we'll see what happens. So give me a minute and I'm going to do what I can to make this thing behave. But I've been watching the latest uh, patch notes and now it is taking forever to load the main menu. <laughs> it appears I chose a very poor time to play this game. But don't worry, just give me a minute and I'll reload it and we'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everyone relax. It'll be okay. It'll all be okay. And that's what it's all about. Just kind of hanging out and being all right. I'm trying to ask, I'm actually trying to exit the game now. <laughs> I think we did give the game a bit of a stroke. Oh man. 
I love my sci-fi spaceship battles, uh, but I, I think that a lot of sci-fi games don't do a great job with that. So let's just wait a second while the main menu struggles to load because I broke it. I'm going to force exit the game and see if I can't get this thing working again. Because if not, here's what we're going to do. If I can't get this campaign to work, we're going to design and fight a random battle so you fuckers get to see an actual battle today. That is what we need to do. We need to make absolutely certain that you guys get to see some war crimes. And I think that's important. I think that is really important to see just a little bit of, you know, war crimes. And it's, it's not much to expect. It's a Monday, you have shit to do, and you want to you wanna see a little war. You want to see, you know, not too much war, not, not unending war, not grim darkness of the 41st millennium. I got it to work. Okay, now I don't have to stall anymore. Here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, they didn't bring enough funnels. My Navy has more funnels. I win. All right, here's what we're going to do. Regina Margarita. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I got two battleships and the rest is crap. I'm going to fold these divisions into a skirmish line and then we are going to send these guys out. Smoke has been spotted in the northeast, so we're going to cut these boats across this way. We're going to cut these boats across this way and we got it going. They didn't bring enough. Oh, good lord. Look at that. What boat do you serve on? <coughs> oh, my sweet baby Jesus. Look at that. I don't need smoke screens. That is amazing. Smonk. How are we going to spot anything? Don't worry about it. All right. This is bad. I mean, good lord. They could see these things from the fucking moon. Full smonk ahead, boys. It says these guys are low fuel. That's why their uh, speed is limited. The battleships are fine. Yeah, no wonder low fuel. We're on the far side of the world. Cue the master and commander soundtrack. All right, Northeast. Here we go. <laughs> this is bad. Hey, how do you like your Italian food? Smoked? Look at this. Where's my boats? Oh, don't worry about those collision sounds. My boats just do that. Oh, we got contact. All right, let's throttle these down so we can get a firing solution. There we go. These guys all have low fuel, so they're they're probably not going to do so great. We're going to tell everyone to shoot nothing but HE all the time. And we're going to tell them to just f shoot aggressively as shit. Who cares? You guys, you know what? Also HE. And also just aggressively as shit. There we go. Yep. Oh, yeah. We have made contact. I don't think we're going to hit anything. It's hard to see through the smoke. Can you imagine being on the lookout deck for this thing? Horrifying. Yeah, come get some. All right, battleships, let's concentrate on that battleship. We gotta sink the Chinese Navy. All right, our range sucks. What are they thinking? They, they have no idea what it is. It's obviously a battleship. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was close. All right, we are trying very hard. Oh, they will not have me outstacked today. Not today. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cut their navy off with a Vettor Paisani as best I can. And we're just going to start setting things on fire. The battleships are trying very, very hard. 
Oh, bonk. The battleships are trying very hard. They're, the enemy doesn't know if they want to fight or not. Oh, man. Sir, I ask you to count the funnels. Well, very well. I count three full-size one and a short one, whereas my battleships possess six. Somewhere behind that smoke screen. Oh, yes. They have a fire. That's what I wanted to see. Their battleship seems like he's trying to leave. I would be as well. All right, battleship line is doing its thing. Cruiser line is going in. Come on, cruiser line. Keep shooting. It's time for fire. Yes. We are whittling them down. Ah, uh, that's a ricochet, but that's a hint. We're getting there. He's got fires spreading, including one below the water line, which is surprising at this range. But, all right. They're having trouble pinning our guys because we're made out of very strong pasta. Also, I invested in crop armor, and they probably didn't. Ah, yes. The famous all-follow-mommy doctrine. Like Mother Duck. Here we go. Oh, yeah. See, right now is where I'd be playing Finiculi Finicula, a.k.a. the Pizza Time theme, for those of you who don't follow Italian music. Oh, man. We're just gonna keep shooting this guy to pieces. Oh, and I let a torp loose. I let a torp loose. I let a torp loose. I let one loose. Oh no! Oh, it's possibly good. It's possibly good. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. Uh, you go to the bottom and you think about what you've done, huh? The day the noodle is upon you. Another torpedo. She exploded for no reason. Okay. Here we go. Let's let's pick let's pick a fight with that battleship. That's that's a spicy meatball. I would say that my battle so far is going impossibly well. Come on. That was all right. Dad jokes. All right, where are we going? Okay. Yeah, let's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and shoot. It helped you last time, didn't it? Little do they know. I gonna stitch them up a real nice. All right. He seems to be wanting to brawl. He's having trouble, so I'm gonna get bow angle on him and make him fight the whole line. I'm gonna make sure the second guy in the battle line is doing this thing. Yep. He, he's getting he's getting set on fire now. This is gonna be some. Sh oh no! He's got a fire on the main tower. Man, that looks metal as fuck. Remember that time the spaghetti formation showed up? You think you so big with your battleship? Not a today. Oh, maybe today. That's a torpedo. Hey, it's the time to go home. Okay, that's not good. That's right in the gubbins. I need them. Oh, cool. The Immaculate Conception. What a great name for a ship. Immaculata Concessione. Well, this guy is fighting the whole run of ships at once, which is just why. You can't fight all of us. Yeah, that's right. Some of our ships have guns, too. You will fill the wrath. You're stuck in here with me for five rounds. Ooh! 
That's a hit to the engines. That's scratch one battleship, guys. Go Italy. Extreme speed. Let's do this. Full power, boys. Full power. Still haven't lost ship yet. It's only crippled. You cannot fight my navy. All right, come on, line. We can do this. Come on, battle line. Increasing speed. It's coming up to speed. Yes. Good lord, look at that smoke. It's like my battleships are somewhere in here. He can't fight all of us. He's trying to lay a smoke screen, but he doesn't realize that, you know, not very effective at this range. Also, when you shoot out of a smoke screen. Seems like one of my boats may ram his boat. Oh, that's the prostitute. No, you idiots. Well, you get what you get. As you know, you have to break the pasta. <laughs> uh, that's not good. A little bit of scrape. A little bit of scrape's fine. We've been in some rough scrapes before. Stop sinking, you cowards. Come on, boys. Come on. Oh, they have another boat that's joining. Maybe a torpedo boat. They don't know. They're too busy shooting this guy. If those big ships hit him, he's done. If one of those shells hits, it's just gonna be like, oof. It's just gonna look like someone hit a ketchup packet with a hammer. It's gonna be bad. Oh, look. The Pisan, he's a leave. My guys have incredibly low fuel. That's fine. This guy is fighting the whole battle line as he goes down it. Very brave. It's like Call of Duty tactics. Come on. They sent their navy out to fight the Italians. The War of the Noodle. Come on, range. Yeah, he is really trying. He's like, please, the fire, think of my children. I'm like, I burned them too, no big deal. Battleships are coming over to bully him. All you see is just these giant fires in the distance. Because if you look at him and you look over, it's like, hmm, where are my battleships in this picture? Would it be behind that smoke clone? <laughs> look at this. This is great. He's having a bad day. That is a torpedo boat. Oh, this is a very sloppy fight. It's like Mordor, but a ship. All right, there we go. Oh, the battleships are coming into range of Asshole, who is probably gonna try to torpedo us. Unless one of these things collides with it, which will be pretty metal. But he's gonna get under our guns here shortly. 
Probably not great. Yep, we're firing torps off at him. We're gonna make it to where he has to fight very hard to stay alive. The other boat is just having a fire over there as he fights the whole Navy. He's starting a torpedo run, but my guy fired a torpedo as well. Oh, that guy just exploded. Nice. Okay, he's shooting torps at my guys. My guys are shooting torps back. It's a torp fight. That ship just is just exploding, which is cool. He's not gonna hit my guys. I got one torp that might hit if he keeps turning. If he keeps turning, if he keeps turning, dud, son of a bitch. All right, bring the ships around. No survivors. No survivors. No survivors. No survivors today, no survivors tomorrow. And they said you couldn't drive ships on the other side of the world in the early 20th century to go pick a fight with an Asian power. I just proved you can do that with Italy. That's right, 2nd Pacific Squadron. Italy. Italy did it. See, this guy has nowhere to go. He's being bullied by everyone at once. Oh, it's bad time. The secret ingredient is, uh, pasta. Look at this vibe check I'm issuing. Point blank and nasty. Uh, Regia Marina, uh, slow down. Uh, no, no speed up on the bullet. It's just nothing but smoke wherever these boats go. It's nothing but smoke. Holy shit. Hit him with the, uh, the big gun. If you can see them. The smoke is apocalyptic. Oh, he's shooting a torp. It might actually hit. Because these boats are very big. And... Yeah, some flooding. Looks like only one compartment though, because I have plenty of armor. These guys are going to ram each other, which is going to suck. Come on, Lou Albano. What was that? Oh. Holy shit, they hit him with three torpedoes. That was metal. Welcome to the bottom of the ocean, fucker. Yeah, that's right. Go Italy. I cannot believe this. Well, 72 dead on my side versus a thousand and thirty seven I think I solved that one for my next trick I'm making them disappear look at this fucker this guy's got drip man like I was saying the king of Italy probably that plus a little bit more holy shit look at that guy that guy is just that guy's got it happening okay so they lost pretty much all their stuff what do we got we got another fight here, and it looks like they brought the Habsburg out. Mm -hmm. And then they brought out some other stuff. That's a pretty large fleet fight, so let's go ahead and start that, if the game lets us. Oh, yeah. I don't know why the game is making noises that loads boats, but it is. It says clean up now. Prepare for battle, and here we go. Four battleships and ten heavy cruisers versus four battleships, four heavy cruisers, five light cruisers, and fourteen torpedo boats. The War of the Funnel has begun. Enemy smoke spotted in the southwest. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just roll right into them and see what happens. Because I'm pretty sure I can cripple most of their navy. I may not win, but I know I can really cause some havoc. 
I brought a lot of firepower. So let's see what they got. Let's take them Habsburgs down a few pegs. Oh, yes. And see you later, hamster. Have a safe one. World's fucky out there. We're here to take care as best you can. Oh, man. All right. You guys ready? We're going out fighting. Oh, yeah. Italy's here. The pasta's on the boil. Time to make some ragu. Oh, boy. Da 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 da. Ba ba da 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 da. Ba da da da. Ba da 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 we're going to give him a few shots just to let him know we know they're there. Looks like he has a nice destroyer and escort screen around him. Oh, it's time to start fire. Yeah, it's time to throw the pasta on the wall and see what sticks. I'm going to tell the rest of my navy to start bullying the little boats first. Alright boys, here we go. We're just gonna get into a big fur ball here. It's on now. Alright, I'm gonna tell my, my group to head off to the torpedo squadron as best I can as I send the battleships into point fucking blank range. All right, this is where it's going to get dicey. Oh, yeah, they don't like that. That's fine. Their whole squadron is fucked up, and my cruisers are coming in to fuck up range. This is where I game... I, I wish, really, the game was co-op. So I could split up a division command and have people do their best. To help support. That would be really handy. Well, I'm going to turn with this fleet. And try to drive right up the middle. They got more boats than I do. For the moment. Okay, we had a torpedo detonation on that lead ship, which happens. They just hit one of the torpedoes and they blew up. It means that launcher is out. All right, this squadron here, lead squadron. I'm going to just try to blow up one of these little guys and then I'm going to start bullying everything else. I'm going to try to ram at least one of their battleships on the... Oh, hell yes! Praise Zorg! Fuck yeah, that was awesome. There's more where that came from. Okay, we need to turn in hard over. Oh, yeah. It's going to be rough. Come on. Yep, they're losing boats. Oh, I'm going to dodge this fucking torpedo. Fuck yeah. Rudder amidships. Let's get in here. I'm uh, starting to fight their other boats. I'm going to see if my battleships will uh, get some joy on them. Because my battleships are taking the bulk of the owies. But I'm just going to keep sinking their little boats here. Oh, another torpedo. No, nope, that one ran out. Good. I'm going to cut between those two groups. And where are we going here? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Come on. Give me a hit. Give me a hit. This guy's coming right up on us with torps. If he turns, we're in trouble. 
Okay, I've managed to cause a bit of consternation in their battle line. This is more than fine. This is all okay. It's all okay with me. Okay, he's made a torpedo run on one of my battleships. Please don't work. Please don't. And a little bit of flooding. Not great. Not terrible. Let's put back. Let's make some spicy meatballs happen, right? Ah, Heinrich. What a proper name. Let's send you to the bottom, bud. Ah, Griffon. It's your Francesca. Come on. Oh, no. Fiera Mosca. My apologies. Alrighty, let's roll this way. Let's roll that way. Seems like we're uh, beating the living hell out of them. And they don't know what's going on because I don't. That is more than acceptable. Oh, let's do this. All right, their battleships are all having to pinwheel around because they don't know what's going on as I'm doing the I'm up in your shit fucking it up technique. Also known as danger close. All right, let's hazard these vessels, shall we? Okay, come on, did we get that torp off? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Oh, uh, that one's got a case of tourney. Come on, no, 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 no. Ah, that's a dud. Not a good torpedo. Come on, torp launchers. Yes! Ram! 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 Oh yeah! You thought your battleships are fancy? Not today! Now that's Italian. When you hear your family... Olive Guardian. Secret soup. Let's give him some torps as we pass. I will destroy the Habsburgs. Yeah, they're having some problems with their ships today. Oh, a flash fire. Fuck yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's a bad time. Please, torpedo crews, get a torpedo off in the Habsburg. That would be too cool for school. I ran you. That's what happened. All right, all four of my battleships are still somehow operational. I'm going to cut down to half speed as we get in here to start brawling. They've already caused some trouble with his fleet. I don't believe it when they say overmatch. I, I think what we need to do is have just overkill. So here we go. Sending these guys in. Uh-huh. And we're going to just keep bullying people. Bully, bully, bully. Bully, bully, bully. And thanks for checking us out, folks. Oh, it's good times. Well, it looks like they're ramming each other to try to get away from my ships. Habsburg may be sinking after taking it on the chin. Believe me, that takes all day with a Habsburg, because you gotta find it. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's roll this way, and then we'll just go this way, and then, yeah, we're just gonna turn in here and keep bullying them. You think you're so big with your Navy? Well, let's see what happens. I wish I had better torpedo dudes, but I got what I got. Uh, yeah, Dandelo has no ammo for the torps. They all blew up. And that's fine. This battle is getting bonkers. 
I'm gonna turn you around, Gaeta. Printo. All right, here we go. Oh, another giant explosion. Yeah, they're trying to fight my boats. Not working too well today. Trento. Uh, blow him up. Yeah, they're having some problems with their boats and water. The water's on the wrong side of the metal. That's typically a problem in boats. Oh! Looks like he wants to fight. I wouldn't do that. You're about to get rammed. Oh man, I had a torpedo detonation. That's not good. Well, time to beat the torpedo. Oh, he just got out of the way, that son of a bitch. The enemy can't see us through the smoke. This is part of my business now. Come on, Trento. I know all your torpedoes blow up, but I also believe that you're a torpedo. I'm telling them not to avoid ramming people now. I'm gonna be like, nah, don't worry about it. Uh-oh. This one has promise. He's like, I don't want to be here. I wouldn't blame you, buddy. I don't think this thing will go off, but if it does, it'll be really cool. Wow! It did something. It's a Christmas miracle. Now remember with boats, you don't want to actually aim for the middle. You need to aim for the bow because the boat's moving. Yep, I'm just gonna attrition the shit out of their navy today. That's what we do. We attrition it. God, I wish I had capital canister shot. That would be cool. He's a run from me. Not today. Man, their navy was really tough a minute ago. I don't know what happened. Italy's strong. Well, time to ram that boat. I'm gonna bust all them hull plates open. I am the torpedo. He's like, no. I'm like, yes. Ah, yeah, there we go. Yep, you can see my boat in the damage diagram. Look how much it's ramming into it. Oh, that's good. Let's open up them whole plates to water. See, I got better damage control than he does. And I just opened up one, two, three, four frames to the ocean. Oh, there goes his engines. He ain't going nowhere. Are these guys gonna ram? Are they gonna kiss? Oh no. I don't think my guys can see anybody because of so much smoke. Well, sayonara. Yep, look at all those frames opening up. Hey, 
Excellent. I'm gonna ram him again. I'm gonna put his engines out of action. And I still have ships that are still pretty okay. They made it to the far side of the formation. I'm gonna get them to continue driving. I've got ships here in the middle of the formation. They're gonna do their thing. Now if these guys are gonna turn back around and rejoin the battle. The battleships are in here just ramming people and sinking shit. Which is great. Enrico Dandor. I believe he was the Doge of Venice. Oh, it's good times now. Yeah, they're not having a great time. They knocked out one of my smokes. No, they only damaged it. Never mind. I'll be alright. Ooh. That's not good. People live in there. Well, lived. Alright, boys. Let's do this. I can't believe how well this battle has gone in terms of stupid. I'm gonna speed time up now that I've done some uh, strategic fuckery here. Oh yeah, they're right, torpedoing me a little bit, but my damage control is real good, and theirs is not. My ships keep going, theirs do not. Oh shit, torp. Oh, hell yeah. Take that, Mr. Stark. I bet you don't feel so good. We torpedoed their ship. What did it do? It left. Oh. tell them to stop avoiding shit and I'm gonna tell them to actually turn back into the battle. No afraid. Only fight. Alright, battleships. What do we got? Hey, look at this guy. Fernando the second. He's just cruising him by. I wouldn't react very well to something that point blank and that big. I mean, holy fuck. Oh yeah, wow. Go ahead and go ahead and shoot me. Go ahead. Go ahead and try. Go ahead and try. Go ahead. Bonk. Yep, it's not even gonna affect my float that much. I will return the hurt. I don't have any torpedoes, but I'm pretty sure I could sink you without them. Man, they're losing a lot of fucking boats today. And I got fresh boats coming up because I unfucked their orders. Alright. I got more ships going into the battle line. The battleships are still out there fighting like crazy. You can see them because they're giant smonk clouds. Oh, man. Oh, that's some hurt. Alright, they're threading the needle. Very poorly. Yep, that's very bad. But, okay, good enough. The enemy's like, why? And I'm like, I don't know. This guy just wanted to get in range and shoot more, I guess. Wow, he pit maneuvered that guy. Well, now we're in a fight. This guy's like, why?
What a brutal beatdown. His battleships are all crippled except for this one. So let's go over here and put some in him. Let's cripple this ship and put it out of action. Alright, Vittoria, come on, you can do this. Dud, son of a bitch. I thought we were gonna get some good luck here. Alright, battleships. Back into the line. Oh boy, come on, fleet maneuvers. I'm gonna lose some cruisers in this. Oh yeah. That's not good. That's a lot of torps. Some of which may hit. Almost everything they have is on fire. The rest is really panicked, running around in a circle like a dog chasing its own ass in a lightning storm. Yep, they're losing boats. Alright, let's go for a battleship. I want to sink more battleships. The reason why I want to sink battleships is not a prestige thing, it's crew. The more battleships I put out of action, the less crew they have for the rest of their fleet. Alright, looks like they're turning to confront. Let's do this. Come on, Roma. Come on, Roma. Come on, Roma. Come on, Roma. Spalat. I want you to ram the Habsburg. Ram the Habsburg. Make him sink. Yeah, yeah, he shot me. I don't care. Ram it. That's right. Bonk. And ram him. Yep. That's catastrophic. They lost another cruiser. Here comes my battleships. Come on, ram him, ram him, ram him. We can do this. Another hit, torpedo hit. Roma's losing power. Another ram. Excellent. He's lost rudder control. He's losing buoyancy very quickly. Oh, that's not good. All right, Emmanuel Filiberto. Habsburg sinks, yes. All right, let's keep going. They said we didn't have this. They said Italy couldn't be a major sea power. We'll see about that. We will see about that. Stark may just blow up. That ship is in bad shape. Roma's chasing Stark down. It's threading the needle very poorly. Right? And what else we got? Oh, please. Please ram. Please be dumb enough. Come on, Italian Navy. Said no one in history ever. Ettore Fiera Mosca. Okay, we got a torp in the water? Come on, come on, come on, come on. That is a hit? That is a hit. Flooding at the bow. He's pumped some of the water out of his engine room, but not enough. Oh, what a slog. All right, Emmanuel Filiberto is probably going to eat it. There's a lot of torp. Okay. Yep, that's two battleships down. Unfortunately. Boys, we can do this. This is a nutso fight. 
We have two battleships that are still okay. Oh, hell yeah. This is nuts. It's pizza time. Oh, man. Okay, we're losing ships now just because the damage is starting to catch up. Damage control is probably getting very tired. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to continue our rate of horrible one-sidedness, but we are certainly giving a good account for ourselves. That one needs to burn next. Mind you, these ships are all very, very old. Well, at least my cruisers are. They've been refit a few times, but they are very old tech. You don't need fancy boats to win a war. It helps, but you know. Point blank torpedo slaughter. Oh, this is good. Come on, battleships. Alright, I still have a few functional uh, squadrons. Excellent. Well done. What a fight. This is pretty nuts. Alright. Everyone's running out of twerps now, so it's just pretty much a gunfight. My squadron in the back here has some, but they're a little dinged up. The folks in the center are really beat up. And I don't think there's a ship left in their navy that doesn't have something wrong with it. I'm gonna tell my guys to try to break battle formation and what, see what we can do about giving some parting shots on the way out. Etatore Fieramosca, come on. I know you're fucked up. I know most of your crew's probably dead. Oh, only a third, that's not so bad. Ooh, torp away. We have both fired torps. That is bad. That did nothing. That's a bad hit right there. Lost all forward momentum. Oh man. That is catastrophic. What a slog. Alright. Let's uh, live the fight again another day, shall we? We got one more battleship left that seems to want to fight us, which is fine. Yeah, we're getting quite a bit of damage, but it's been fairly even, even though my navy is a bit smaller. I'm going to tell the battleships to concentrate on their battleships. Do what I can to put one more down, just to knock this in my favor. And I'm going to see what we can do on the way down with it. Yeah, they, they definitely have lost a lot of their navy. And the problem is, is I have more navy. 
That was the building plan I ran under, which is build big. Not great. I'm hoping to put some more herd into the Stark. I want this thing to burn to the waterline. It's lost a third of its crew, so that's pretty catastrophic. And every time I hit them, there's a fire, which is great. You know what? That's a great idea. Hold on. Turn the boats into projectiles. I do have one squadron left that's okay, because they are concentrating very heavily on, uh, on making absolutely certain... that they can try. So let's see, they're trying to finish off the boats that are already broken away and damaged. That's fine, because I have boats too. Now they have a fairly decent top speed. Mine's a little better. But I think I could ram the rest of their navy under the water, at least the ones that matter, and then retreat to my other boats, and my overhead for running the navy is now cheaper. They're like, what? I'm like, yeah, it's the Disposable Navy Doctrine. Build crap. That'd have to be great. Just build a whole navy of crap. having a little bit of stupid. And I'm gonna try to ram their navy with my navy. Oh, hell yeah, torpedo runs? Some of my guys still have torps. In fact, most of these guys still have torps. Fuck yeah. Give them some torps in the gut. Let's scratch one more battleship. Oh, hell yes. All right, let's get in here and finish this. Okay, my guys are all now ramming each other because it's changing uh, command of each vessel between them. Stark may sink. That's a bad hit. It is structurally fucking it. They can't see past my smonk screen, as it should be. Excellent. They are losing more boats. And they're about to get rammed. Oh yeah, there we go. My boats are disposable. Your boats are not. I can build more crap tomorrow. Keep burning. Keep burning. It's gonna be bad for you. Yeah, they're losing boats left, right, and center. Ah, oh, Fyodor Moscow finally went down. You are a brave sir. We will remember you. Briefly. Probably with some form of new pasta. All right, let's do it. All right, let's bully some of them while we still got torps. That ship's on fire, and it's probably picric acid, and eh, whatever. Let's 
time to send him to the bottom. Oh yeah. Oh, they are still losing people. Oh yeah, we're gonna get one more good ram in this. If not Torps, I'm taking out one more battleship. That is my goal. If I can't have battleships, they can't have battleships. Oh yeah, it's on now. Torp going out, that's a hit. All right, Griffona, put it on it. Put your weight on it. Look at that. Welcome to the bottom, fucko. Sinking, yes. Rammed another battleship. Let's get him now. Sforza. Oh, it's Forza. Of course he's fast. He's like, no, please. I have a family. I'm like, I know. That's why I'm doing this. He's like, please, no. And I'm like, please, yes. Oh, it's time for the pit maneuver. Let's give him a little bit of scrape, boys. There we go. Time to die. There's another one. Yeah, a little bit of damage, it's all right. They are having a bad day, aren't they? They were like, Italy? They've never been in naval power, and I'm like, today's the day. <laughs> Alright, I lost a battleship ramming a battleship, but, eh. Oh, and the other one sank too. That'll happen. I plan on losing this whole navy. Today is the day they find out you don't break the pasta. The pasta break you. They're like, why? And I'm like, because it's funny. Because I don't think they have another navy, but I do. I sank one Chinese fleet in its entirety, and I'm hoping to at least cripple this one beyond recognition. Come on. We can do this. Yeah, let's make battles Pyrrhic for everyone. That's how you know they're really good. By the way, coming up next is going to be Cooking on the Rim with Mr. Quish. Oh, he's been doing that for, God, over a year now. So, that's pretty amazing. You don't choose the pasta life. The pasta life chooses you. Oh yeah, let's ram another ship. Come on, be fun. Yeah, 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 shoot torpedoes. I don't care. I got more boats. He's like, please stop. No. Yeah, see, this is how you do it. All you gotta do is be annoying. And this is a very poor Jeune Cole, Molly. Very poor.
little bit of little bit of sparks here and there. But I am coming up on the edge of my time here. So I hate to say this, but we have to call this battle now. But I did more damage than they did. And uh, I call that a win. I call that a massive win, even though it's obvious most of my navy is at the bottom. <laughs> I think I'd prove that Italy can into navy. But hey, I think I did my part. At any rate, guys, uh, I'm going to get offline here because I got to get this room ready for the next person, which is going to be Quish cooking on the rim. Thank you, guys. And remember, it's not about the smonk stack per se, but rather how much smonk you can stack. It's that smoke on the inside that counts. Oh, God, that's not something I should say. But thank you guys for joining me in a little bit of fucking up history. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. Take care of each other. Times are hard out there, so remember, a little bit of kindness goes a long, long way. Later, guys.